Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's jump into just another game. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. I almost said Super Mario RPG because I have spent most of yesterday editing a particular episode of that that's going up this week. And uh, it my rendering didn't take, so I had to re-render everything from scratch this morning. So I've been kind of working with Super Mario RPG all morning. So I'm still stuck in that mode. But you know what? Screw it. Let's have fun. Let's play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. And before we get into the game, let's actually show off what this arcade game does. This is called Shantae Nab. It costs 10, 10 gems to play. And the goal is you're playing as Monkey Shantae, which otherwise does not appear in this game. You get one shot to nab the coin, so your timing has to be pretty good. And I got it. I almost never do that. Let's see how far I can go. The more gems you grab, the more gems you grab, the more you win at the end of the game. So you at least want to try to get your money back. And if you fail even once, it's game over. And usually I fail long before now. So let's see how far I can do this on camera, because apparently I'm really good at it as long as I'm streaming recording whatever as you can see the timing does change from time to time I had a nice little streak there if I grab this we'll get our investment back missed of course I don't get our investment back but we're only down one gym I might show this off a little bit more if I figure out if there's any better rewards for doing it but at least I got at least I got my jumps back. All but one. Anyway, let's move on. Now, last time, we came back to check in on our friends at Scuttletown. We checked on Skye, and she was engaged, but then her parents showed up and ruined everything. So now we have to figure out how to set Skye's love life back. And the best thing to do when someone is afflicted with an ancient curse is to go talk to the oldest person in town. That would be our uncle, so let's go talk to him in his workshop. Hey, old man, what's up? Uh, no, I did not. But we'll go through this anyway. Oh, uh, not really. There are four kinds of heroes in this world. Those who complete their quests with minimum effort. Those who are slow yet thorough, collecting every single treasure. Those who work quickly, measuring their success only in speed. Then those who, and finally, those heroes who collect everything and still do it at top speed. Every hero will receive a reward. Every hero will receive a reward equal to his or her own effort. But which one am I, am I Uncle? That is up to you. So yeah, uh, I came here a little bit early, but that does give us some insight into the rewards that we're going to need to do. Uh, the rewards of the game. Let's see if I check this. Oh, mommy, there's an inscription. It's probably a curse, so I'd better not read it, considering the luck I've been having lately. Now, let's... See if that triggers something. If not, I have to go to the next island. And I'd rather not have to go to the next island and then come back. Yep. Alright, that's what I gotta do. So yeah, what he was describing was the four rewards that you get for the different playstyles of this game. By completing it simply once, you will get one image. By completing it at 100%, you will get a second image. By completing it in under a certain time limit, you'll get a third image, and by completing it under a certain time limit and getting 100%, you'll get the last image. We are not going to bother with that until later on, until after we beat the game. And then if people want, I might just put up a no commentary speed run and see if we can get that last image. Anyways. According to this map, this is Tan Line Island. It's hot! Don't let the immense heat distract you. There's a den of evil here. Find it and destroy it without delay. I'll go and have a look-see. You just leave everything to me. 
And if you feel cursed, lie back and put a damp towel over your forehead. <sighs> Where does she get the energy to be so disgustingly happy all the time? Rep to go. I am trying very hard. I've noticed that on some of my later Super Mario RPG recordings, it sounds like I am slurring my words. Or, uh, skipping over simple words like B. So I'm trying to be more aware of my enunciation. I also turned up the gain on my mic a little bit, so hopefully that helps. Are you guys endless? You guys might be endless. You guys are endless, so I'm moving on. Uh, I think I know what I might need to trigger before I go back. Think about it. But anyway, this is Timeline Island. It is the desert world. Remember, uh, how's it go? Grasslands, desert, forest, ocean, fire world. Ice World Boss? Ice World Fire World Boss? Something like that. We don't quite have that pattern, but it does actually follow somewhat of a pattern in the Shantae games. Duck. Uh, what's it here? This is another mummy. Better not read it, but we'll want to remember where that is, and we'll want to remember that is too. Yes, that floor crumbles, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of it, and you can't move fast enough to get across the, to get the Ugiri yet, so we'll have to come back for that later. Uh, but yes, Shantae games also kind of have their own Super Mario World-esque, or Super Mario-esque level design, and that you usually go to either the forest land or the ocean, or you go to the desert, and then you go to the dead world after that. We're a little bit out of sync here, but that's basically how it goes. Here we go. How did Sky's dad manage to carry this all the way back to Scuttletown? Since we're here, we're just going to keep on going. Uh, and I didn't really pick up on that until I played the original Shantae over the last week or so, because I noticed it was in the 3DS uh, eShop. And if you are interested in trying that out, it's $5 as opposed to $300 for the cart, so I would recommend you give it a shot. I'm going to try to keep my head to the ground for a cart because I would really like to pick that up. I'm, I'm trying to get into game collecting, and I would love to get something rare like that, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. I would love to find it like an estate sale or a pawn shop. Uh, because at the game collector store, they're going to actually know what it's worth, and eBay is clearly out of the question. Meanwhile, the Squid Baron is here. Uh... Hey, Squid Baron, what are you doing here of all places? My vacation is ruined. All right. I came here expecting to relax in the surf. To feel the ocean breeze on my face and watch with feigned disinterest as nearby beach bunnies apply copious handfuls of sunscreen to each other's bodies in order to be practical and sun safe. From UV rays. Okay. But I didn't know this was the off season. The only sights at this time of year are the elder beings and scorpion folk. I give up. I'll be purchasing a lavish home nearby with amazing square footage and gravel landscaping at this rate. I won't let you do that. Back up! There's still something amazing out there waiting for you. Something cliche like a lonely lady squid. Maybe you're right. If I'm not gonna stick around, then here, take these x-ray specs. I won't be needing them, apparently. Use them to see through things if it pleases you. Yay! Got the X-ray specs from the perverted squid. And off he goes. I actually spaced this. I thought we needed we picked this up from uh, Uncle Mimic. But we're gonna need to figure out the combination for this place. And we only have one place to look, and that is those mummies. So let's go check them out now. We're gonna start with one here, of course, because it's the closest. Then we'll go to, uh, I think we'll go to, uh, Saliva Island again, because there is actually the second mummy there, and the last upgrade that we can get there is on the way, so we might as, help, might as well head there first. Alright. No, Scorpion Lady! 
it is interesting that one thing I've also noticed these glasses I can see right through the stone. Something's guarded here. It's a design of some sort. Yeah. I'll make a quick sketch just so I don't forget. You got the mummy sketch. Alright, let's take a look here. I bet they can see through anything. A sketch that captures one third of a mysterious design. So yes, that is your hint that you need to go find three more, or the other two parts of that design, which will probably tell you the combination for that door. Anyways, uh, and I just noticed that we actually can get another heart upgrade, so we should do that too. So we'll do that when we head back to town. Uh, one thing that I noticed after playing through the original Shantae is that squid collecting is apparently a recurring theme. In the original Shantae, you collect four warp squids that lets you get around the different areas, and believe me, you will want them. The original Shantae is a difficult game. It is incredibly hard. I have died so many more so many more times there than I have ever died here, considering I haven't died in this one at all yet, and I've come very close, but I've not died. Anyway, so you spend most of the game collecting warp squids there. In Shantae Risky's Revenge, there is a point that comes when you collect golden squids for the Squid Baron in order to... Let's go in here. In order to uh, complete the game. In this game, you obviously collect heart squids. And in Shantae Have to be Hero, there are a variety of different squids that you collect depending on the mode that you're playing. Alright, full health. And a slight upgrade. I guess I, I guess we're going to this one first because I was in the middle of thinking it, or in the middle of talking and didn't think properly. So we'll just look at it while we're here. I have these glasses I can see right through the stones. Something scarved here. It's a design of some sort. Mm. I'll make a quick sketch just so I don't forget, and we're done. All right. Not a big deal. We'll just go to Tama, or we'll go to Slave Island now. And I will be glad to actually finish that off. Let's go. As you can see, we are only missing one heart squid, and we are about to pick that up on the way. Hopefully we can do this pretty quick. I have to get used to the control get used to the controls of uh, this game again because they are a little bit different from the original shot. The enemies are the same. Are the same. I noticed a lot of recurring enemies. That was kind of interesting too. And enemies that I didn't actually anticipate being recurring enemies. Lobster tail. Awesome. That is the top tier healing item that heals the most HP. So you want to hang on to those for boss fights. It might be a good idea to farm mermaids for them, but they are kind of a. Actually, I take that back. Are they top tier? They might be second. Let's check. They are top tier. Okay, that's what I get for second guessing myself. They are a low drop rate from mermaids. You may want to farm them, you may not. Personally, I tend to not farm them. I just tend to hang on to the ones that I get. But now that we have Risky's hat, we can access a new area here from the statues. Requires a little bit different timing. I already scrubbed it up. Maybe. Yeah. Alright, we'll try that again. Not a big deal. Nothing to worry about. Not as big a screw up as I did in Super Mario RPG. I am still pretty salty about Booster's Tower. I don't like Booster's Tower under the best of circumstances, and then everything that happened to me in that tower completely soured it to me. Alright. Completely soured me on the experience. I am glad to put that behind us. Alright, come on. Let's go. Let's not spend hours doing this. There we go. No! 
really? Alright. Change our timing a little bit, see if that helps. There we go. Now we can get up here. Uh, yes, let's put on a bubble shield. Those mermaids in very awkward locations. Die, mermaid, you don't belong in this world. There's our heart squid that we're looking for. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna do something real quick. One sec, guys. Alright, sorry about that cut. I needed to adjust something on my mic. I know that... I'm still... So I'm still getting used to monitoring and outputting my voice at the same time, and I'm trying to do it in short bursts, and I'm trying to do it to get used to... Basically not listening to myself, but being aware of how loud I am over the game music. The problem is with OBS, and I believe this is a common problem with software monitors as opposed to hardware monitors, there is a very slight delay. So, normally until you get used to this, this is a common thing with, pe with most people when they're starting out monitoring themselves. If you hear yourself a few tenths of a second, it doesn't take much. After you say your words, it throws you off because you're used to hearing yourself instantaneously and it can cause you to slur. So I'm trying to be very aware of that and I'll only use this in short bursts. But uh, I needed to adjust my mic there. So anyways. Moving on. With these glasses, I can see regular stone, card here, design, mm, sketch, art, mummy sketch. Hey, now that I've sketched out all three mummy carvings, I should be able to figure out the design. Mm. Oh, each shape represents an animal and arranged in a very specific pattern. Which means the combination to that temple door is... Gator, Gator, Gator. That should be easy to remember. Alright, now that we have that, let's use the pirate flare and instantly head back to... Risky! And with that, I think we're going to call it an episode, guys. So next time we have the combination that we need, so we're going to head out to Tan Lion Island. Hope to see you then. Thanks for joining me, and you guys have a great day. Later.